3 transforming graphs of functions, example 2. This time we are sketching the graph of y equals the modulus of 3x minus 2. Well, similar to example 1, I'm first going to imagine that the modulus signs are not there. If we had to draw the graph of y equals 3x minus 2, then let's think, where would it cross the y-axis? Well, when x is 0, y would be 3 times 0 take 2, so y would be minus 2. So this would cross the y-axis at minus 2. Where would it cross the x-axis? Well, when y was 0, we get 3x minus 2 equals 0, and by rearranging this, we get x is 2 thirds. So the graph would cross the x-axis at 2 thirds 0, and cross the y-axis at minus 2. And if the modular signs were not there, this is how it would look. And crossing the x-axis there at 2 thirds. With the mod signs, however, any negative y values will be reflected in the x-axis and they will become positive y values. So this section of the graph, where y was already positive, is not going to change. However, the other section of the graph, where y was negative, will be reflected in the x-axis and end up there. So the reflected graph, or rather the reflected portion of the graph, will cross the y-axis at 2. So at this point, x is nothing and y is 2. And cross the x-axis at 2 thirds, 0. So x is 2 thirds, y is 0. That's the graph of the modulus of 3x minus 2.